Excuse me for one second. I'm 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 high on adrenaline right now. Just give me give me one second. One second. <sighs> Sunny D, it's good. <clears throat> Woo! What a night! I have to say, it's nights like this that makes me proud to be a wrestling fan. Honestly, this is this is it is moments like tonight that wrestling fans live for. WWE, you slick bastards. <sighs> Every time I think that you're down for the count and I'm ready to give up on you, you come out and you do something like tonight. Because my God, I will, I honestly, when I say this, I say this from the bottom of my heart. Honestly, and I've seen a lot of great WrestleMania. I've been to two great WrestleManias. But tonight, was literally, I'm not going to say it's the greatest WrestleMania ever, but this is literally one of the top five WrestleManias I have ever watched. Honestly, no joke. Oh man, and I'm I'm trying to get it together so I can review this because I'm still high on the freaking adrenaline from the 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 amazing stuff I seen tonight. I will legit say that no match, maybe the Divas match, but other than that, even that match was pretty decent. No match really disappointed. Everything WWE brought it, they threw the kitchen sink at our face and gave us everything we wanted. Oh my god. Oh I'm to alright, let's, let's just go with the review. So it starts off with the uh the tag team match, uh the Fatal Four Way, Cesaro and uh Tice Kid defending their championships against the Usos, um Los Lost Matadores and um uh, who's the freaking fourth team? I can't even think of tight. All right, we got Tice Kid and Cesaro, uh, Los Matadores, um, uh, um, uh, man, you know. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I can't even think of the freaking, the freaking, the fourth team right now. That's freaking ridiculous, ridiculous. But I mean, anyway, the the fact of the matter is, this because I don't, don't want to spend too much time on this match. You guys know who's in. You seen the match? I can't. Like for some reason, I can't think of the freaking fourth team that was in it. But um. Uh, the Tyson Kid and Cesaro. Uh, oh, it was uh, New Day. That's who it was. Uh, Kofi and um, Kofi and Biggie. Uh, this match was pretty good. Open the match. Opening uh, match of the pre-show it was really, really good. I would say um, a lot of cool spots. Hit fast. It's like this is like what the, they like to do to pump the crowd up, and they did it well. And Cesaro and Tyson Kid ended up um, uh, taking the victory and retaining their championships. Good for them, those guys. Cause I'm, I'm a big fan of both of them. Uh, then we went to the Andre the Giant Battle Royale. Also, did not disappoint. This one was just as good. I was hyped. I was, I was hoping, for, hoping for my boy Ryback to win. My Ryback got eliminated. Um, we got see Hideo Tommy in there. You do some stuff. Uh, big booted. I think he was he slated. Big booted out of the ring. An awesome big booted was. Um, a lot of people, and it was in. Uh, it was a lot of kind of inside the Royal Rumble. Uh, with uh Kane and Big Show dominating most of it, but um. It was pretty cool. We got to see Bo Dallas to a victory rap. He eliminated himself and did a victory lap around the ring. That was pretty funny. Um, but in the end, it came down to um, Miz Dow finally did the turn on Miz, uh, eliminating Miz. And then it came out to Miz Dow and Big Show. And Big Show ended up getting the victory. I'm, I'm not mad about this. Big Show's never won a battle royale in his entire career. career. And this one is is it's based off of uh, a man who expired him to be, you know, the Big Show and Andre the Giant. So I think he should have won last year. But you know what? I'm have no have no problem with Big Show winning this uh, this battle royale. Uh, pretty cool visual too with him doing the same pose beside the the Andre the Giant um, uh, trophy. Um, next we saw the the show started with the Intercontinental Championship match. You had um, Bad News Barrett, R Truth, Dolph Ziggler, Daniel Bryan. Dean Ambrose and uh, Stardust in there, um, and it was some awesome spots. I remember uh, it was one spot where what that eliminated Dean Ambrose from the whole thing was uh, Luke Harper hitting a power bomb, throwing him to the uh, to a a uh, a ladder that was propped up between the apron and the barricade, and that basically took Dean Ambrose out of the match. Um, and it was a lot of other cool. Uh, I think uh, it was uh, I don't know who he did it to, but I remember uh, Barrett doing an awesome. Superplex that uh, was crazy, uh, but in the end it came down to uh, Dolph Ziggler and <clears throat> Dolph Ziggler and uh, uh, Daniel Bryan, the two popular one, two of the 
the three most popular superstars in the matchup, and they start hit butting each other like crazy. But in the end, Daniel Bryan wins the Intercontinental Championship, and I cannot wait to see what he does. Hopefully, he elevates that title, which it needs to be elevated. Yes, 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 yes. Thanks. To, uh, you know, Dan Bryan wins. Everybody's happy. Um, next, we had Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins. This match is the match of the night, besides the main event. But if you want to just talk about an actual match, this is the one you're gonna want, want to watch. Amazing chemistry between Randy Orton and um and Seth Rollins. Those two guys went at it. And let me just take a second. Please, if you're gonna watch this match, please watch the last like 45 seconds of this match. The sequence and that RKO. Oh my god. I, I literally I marked out. I'm not gonna lie, I freaking marked out. It was amazing that RKO that Randy Orton hit. Somehow I don't know, it's like Freaking Seth Rollins, he was going for the curb stomp and he he jumped, he jumped again. He did like a freaking video game double jump. You know how in video games you can double jump? Like, that's what Seth Rollins Seth Rollins is a freaking video game character. And he jumped up and some, twice and somehow Randy Orton caught him in an RKO and it's probably the, braided, the greatest RKO out of nowhere we're ever on scene. Better than the, the Star KO, better than any RKO we've ever seen. The, 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 the um, uh, RVD one better than that. It's just amazing. Please go watch that match and just look at the mar the um the greatness that is that uh that RKO because it is make it's crazy. I freaking screamed. I I, I bet my freaking family that was crazy because I was freaking marking out so hard when I saw that. Um, anyway, obviously Randy Orton wins after that. There's no way you're kicking out an RKO like that. So Randy Orton wins that match. Uh, next we come to Sting versus Triple H. Uh, Triple H came out to a really awesome um, Terminator like uh, uh, with interest gear and stuff. He had like little the Terminator robots beside him, and then he had freaking Arnold up there. You're talking about freaking Triple H time to play the game. It's pretty cool, pretty cool interest. I really enjoyed that. Um, Triple H always uh, never disappoint with the interests, especially lately. Uh, he walks down there. Sting's already down there. They got like some freaking Asian people hitting drums stuff like comes out and Sting did not wear a t-shirt I was very happy about that I'm, I was like yes no t-shirt yes anyway the match went on uh, Sting the first ever match obviously Sting's a pretty a really good worker not a pretty good worker a really good worker and Triple H we already know what he can do in the ring and uh, it, it was going really really good um, between the two and I was like oh I mean, when are they going to end this I thought uh, he was about to tap out to the Scorpion uh, uh, death lock but then DX smoothie break it down dude don't Billy Gunn, Road Dog, X Pac run down to the ring. I'm like, what the hell, man? No DQ or nothing. They 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 try to attack uh Sting. Sting takes those guys out. Uh, Triple H tries to get the victory there, and then he kicks out of the pedigree, I believe. Um, after that, uh, Triple H is about to get the win, I think. And then here comes the NWO music hits. NWO and it's Hulk Hogan, uh, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, uh, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash coming to the ring and for, for the first time ever. We get to see DX versus the NWO. I mean, it's this was a couple uh, years too late, but man, it was still freaking awesome to watch. And the crowd was marking out; they were into it. I was into it. Seeing those guys, all those guys go at it, and there was one person missed from the equation. And I was like, please let him show up. So uh, I think Sting was about to get the victory again, but then Shawn Michaels just appears out of nowhere. Sweet chin music on Sting. Uh, Triple H goes for the victory. One, two, kick out. False finishes everywhere. Uh, this pandemonium everywhere. This NWO, NW, NWO, DX war, and you got Sting and Triple H fighting in the ring. So much shenanigans happened that uh, and uh, I think uh, at one point uh, Scott Hall gave Sting the bet and broke the sledgehammer. I was like, what the hell? He broke the freaking sledgehammer. Um, and it was coming towards the end, but then Triple H, uh, I think Triple H ended up hitting Sting with the sledgehammer. And then a pedigree, it's, it was a while back, so trust me, I don't remember the actual finish. But Triple H wins uh, that matchup. Um, and Triple H, the game, kills WCW forever. Think about it, Triple H has beaten every huge, big, every huge WCW star you could think of. From Booker T, Scott Steiner, uh, uh, Kevin Nash, he's beating them all. And he adds the, the dynasty the WCW uh, poster boy to that list, Sting. And a lot of people, uh, some people are kind of upset about that because it's, you know, Sting's first match in WWE. But I don't know. I, was, I wasn't really that upset about it. It was a really good match, and I enjoyed every single part of it. Um, next, there was the Kid Ink thing. I'm going to talk about that with the performance. Um, 
Uh, it was somewhere in, I'm not sure if it was right after, I think it was like right after this, yeah. And then we had AJ and Paige versus the Bella Twins. Um, there's not really much to say about this match. It wasn't a bad match. It wasn't the greatest match, but it was it was good. And AJ and Paige won, so I'm happy. Um, next, we had Rusev versus John Cena. Rusev came out with the, you know, the um, Russian, uh, uh, like, like, whole bunch, like, like, like a Russian kind of, like music and there's people like a like a Russian parade or something. He came out on a freaking tank. It was freaking awesome. And then John Cena had this um this American like uh video package thing showing everything about Merc, Merc this, Merc that. And it was pretty cool. Um uh then they go and they have their match and somehow John Cena had a freaking springboard stunner in there. That was freaking crazy. Um to see. Um, but in the end, I'm not going to really go over all the spots. It's a really good match. Go check it out. But John Cena wins the U.S. Championship and puts down Rusev. A lot of people may be upset about this, but think about this. Do you want Rusev to lose to a nobody? Do you want him to lose to, you know, some random guy on Raw? No. You want him to lose to a go-out losing to a top guy on, um, on the biggest stage of them all. And not only that, but then, like, John Cena's going to be nowhere near the world title because he has to be the U.S. Champion. So think about that. Um, next we had Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker. Uh, oh no, for, oh, oh, rewind that. Uh, Triple H and Stephanie Man came out talking junk. The Rock hits. The Rock comes out there talking smack to Stephanie and Triple H. Stephanie threatens to, you know, tell him, threatens uh, The Rock and tells him to leave the arena. She goes to get, he goes to get back up from the uh, audience. And guess who it is? Ron the freaking, uh, Rousey, UFC champion Ronda Rousey comes out to the ring. I'm marking now. He, she's wearing a, a over nine thousand over nine thousand uh Regia shirt. And I'm a huge DBC fan, as you guys know. So I'm like, oh my god, Ronda Rousey's a freaking wrestling fan and a DBC fan. We need to be buddies somehow. I don't know how. Anyway, uh, she comes out there and Stephanie's getting all in her face. Triple H chat. Then they start fighting um uh, Triple H and uh, Stephanie and uh, Triple. You know, Rock Lynn SmackDown throws Triple H at uh, Ronda Rousey. Hits the judo toss on Triple H, and then you know basically almost breaks Stephanie McMahon's arm. It's an awesome moment to see uh, you know uh, Ronda Rousey in a WWE ring, and I hope so hopefully she'll be doing some more stuff. Whenever that that uh she decides to you know stop being in the octagon, she comes to WWE and be a WWE diva. Hopefully, uh, next was Bray Wyatt versus Undertaker. Um, really really good match. Obviously, Undertaker hit all his freaking spots, and then he's not gonna do that all the the crazy stuff before. But what it was, it was really really good. Um, and I really enjoyed it, and I really wanted Bray Wyatt to win, but he didn't, Undertaker won, but it's okay, because it's Undertaker, and Undertaker finally gets his redemption, uh, from losing, uh, last year from Brock Lesnar, he gets his WrestleMania redemption, goes 22-1, and one, and I'm happy, man, it's Undertaker and Undertaker, so I can't be pissed off, um, but man, Bray Wyatt's gonna get that win, next year, hopefully Bray gets that win, he needs it, um, but, uh, definitely very, very, very entertaining, uh, matchup. Uh, and next was the main event, and oh my god, was it that, uh, probably the most dominant showing I've ever seen in a WrestleMania main event, just like at SummerSlam, Brock Lesnar dominated this match, beating the living hell out of Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns getting booed out the building, and in the, in the crowd just eating it up, man, just watching Brock Lesnar just throw throw freaking uh Roman Reigns everywhere man suplex city bitch like he said uh, in, the, in the match suplexes everywhere man belly to bellies German suplexes normal suplex snap suplexes everything uh just beat it just beating the mess out of him even though it's even bleeding in this match Roman Reigns actually got a little bit off and, and threw him into uh one of the poles and his head was bleeding everywhere it was just a awesome visual and it looked like like uh Roman Reigns was about to win man he's hitting the spear he hit the spear it's like four Superman punches the guy kicks out and I'm like oh my god please do not let Roman Reigns win like this because he's been dominating for like 15 minutes and then it comes to look like it's about to end and then all you hear is Roman Reigns music Roman Reigns not Roman Reigns it's, uh, blah. Seth Rollins music. Seth Rollins runs out there with the money in the bank briefcase. Cash in the briefcase. Hits the curve stomp. He's looking at, um, what's called? I'm like, pin him. What are you doing? Freaking pin him. And he's not pinning him. And, um, I think he, he might, he might have kicked out, I think, uh, Brock. Uh, there was a lot of going on, guys. Um, then, um, he comes out there. And then, uh, uh, uh Roman hits a spear on Brock like he's about to pin him. And curb stomp. Pins Roman Reigns, one, two, three, Seth Rollins is your champion. My God, guys, WrestleMania 3, oh, one was very, very good. If you like to tell me, thumbs up.
Tell me racist trash. Thank you, everybody. Peace.